No. Mm. What? Oh, I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Oh. oh. It's gunship time. Oh, you know, just getting gas, getting ready to go on a trip, and it's still dark out. I live like an hour from my closest Lego store. It's currently like five, yeah, it's literally one minute from 5 a.m. right now. So, uh, yeah, if I wanna get this gunship, I'm gonna make sure that I get it. All right, guys, we are all fueled up. And now, commence Operation Gunship. I just grabbed some Taco John's and I'm actually really glad I didn't get an iced coffee from them. I just got a water and I checked the uh, Starbucks that's literally like two miles up the highway and they open at 5.30 and it is like 5.28 so that couldn't be more perfect. Hello. 20, There's 20.05. Thank you. Thank you, have a good one. Thank you. Look at that beauty. Looking just gorgeous. Alright guys, I am hopping off the highway. I'm about to pull into Easton Town Center Mall. It's Sunday, so the mall doesn't really open until 11. Uh, excuse me. It's about 6.25. Um, I've definitely never been here this early, ever. So yeah, I guess we'll see if there's some people lined up. I mean, I'm probably the first person here to get this Lego set, but uh, we'll see, man. I don't even know. This mall doesn't even open for another four hours, so we'll uh, see. All right, guys. The Lego store is right here. I wonder if there's anybody chilling out here yet. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we got a few people out here already. I honked at him. Thanks, Captain Obvious. All right, well, let's park somewhere. All right, guys, well, we are parked. We made it up here. And dude, I can't believe there's literally already like three people waiting with lawn chairs, just like me. So uh, yeah, I guess I don't feel that crazy. 6.30 though, the store does not actually open until 12. A lot of the stuff around this mall doesn't open until 12, man. So that's insane, man. We're gonna be waiting for five and a half hours. But uh, I got my book bag with my Nintendo Switch. I got my lawn chair, dude. All right, <laughs> let's do this. We got some more people walking up there. Oh my God, it is not even seven o'clock yet and we got people lining up. Let's go. Gunship gang. got a little bit of a line pretty crazy I definitely thought that I was maybe gonna be the first one here cuz you know I showed up at like 620 and a few people beat me to it so uh, and now it's Sunday so it actually doesn't open until 12 so uh, we got five more hours until they open so uh, yeah it's a good thing I brought my switch <laughs> hey you guys got any Lego in there you got any
Oh, who won? It was the battle of the computers. I don't see. I won. Dun dun dun! I lost. Wow, my computer sucks. <laughs> A few more people in line, but uh, nothing too crazy yet. We're still looking at ten. Or I'm sorry, we're still looking at eight thirty-nine. So we still have till twelve o'clock. So we'll see how much bigger the line gets. Go back to this one every time. Bringing out the sets. It's not totally, it's like, because then the show would be like, but also, there's so much detail on that shit. It's like. Got the new Mario display. Still got the Daily Bugle. They moved the gunship over here. See this display over here. You got the Adidas shoe. You got some new Volkswagen hippie van. Things pretty sweet. 9.04 on the clock. And the line is just a little bit bigger now, but we still have three hours. So I'm guessing the line might just start getting a little bit bigger here in the next hour or two. He said it. He was like, he kept on talking, but his face was like, I'm gonna get hit in the face. Oh, I did. Uh, no, Talking about me? Oh, yeah, I didn't give him his consent. Your face wasn't in it. You're good. <laughs> now your face is in it because you turned and looked at me. Well, you're 18 in a public area, so he does. Oh, yep. <laughs> no copyright. No copyright strikes here. Thumbnail, thumbnail. We got it. It is about 9.40 and we got a hefty line, maybe about 20 people. Now, one of the employees did come out and say they only have about 14 gunships. So it's actually a good thing that I did get here early. I got my pink chair over there, so I'm waiting with that group right there of those wonderful fellas right there. If any of you guys are watching, love you guys. Here's a half heart. We've all got tickets. This is honestly the first time I've seen them do tickets. You gotta match up your number. People out here have them, have them fake gunship tickets. This is a real gunship ticket. Alright guys, it is 10.35 now and we do have a little bit of a line going back to the rest of the mall here. I am in this front group up here with these lovely gentlemen over there holding my spot. Still have an hour and 25 minutes to wait, so woohoo, almost there. Still got an hour for the gunship, so I'm gonna grab some Shake Shack. I'm pretty hungry. All right guys, 37 more minutes. That line is getting longer and longer back there. Eating my Shake Shack, it's pretty darn delicious. Might not be as good as In-N-Out, but uh, you know, it's pretty good. It does the job. But uh, look at that line. It's going all the way. It's starting to wrap around past the North Face store over there. Oh, uh, excuse me. But uh, yeah, 37 minutes. More and more are joining the line. Let's go. All right, guys, I keep filming this line, but it just keeps getting longer. Oh my goodness, we're going past the Champ store down there now. Gee, my knee. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, they got Birds of Paradise out today. What, what? Oh, where's that at? Oh, yeah. yeah, let me get that. Let me get that real quick. Seinfeld. Oh. Oh.
there's literally no Some new Ninjago stuff. Alright guys, here we are. We have scored. We got the gunship inside. So I think it's safe to say that Operation Gunship has been achieved. All right guys, we are back in Chillicothe and the day is not over yet. I am headed over to AJ's house right now and I'm going to pick him up and we are gonna do a little bit of flea market shopping. AJ's gonna look for some masks, I'm gonna look for some Lego, and it's gonna be a great time. So uh, let's go ahead and go uh, see what that guy's doing. Are you guys both coming? We're gonna flee to the flea market. Hey, how's it going? Take a minute to get down there. Probably hang out for an hour. It's not big. That's what she said. <laughs> well, I found a few things so far, none of which are Lego. And AJ found a thing, but it's not a mask. But I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're getting there. Yeah. We're, we're, we're poking Plus, around here. but no. Cigar? Cigar. Wasn't gonna say that, because I don't endorse smoking. Oh, oh yeah, well, you know, me either. Close, but no. Mask. I'll tell. Chewy candy. Close, but no mask or bricks? Yeah. All right, well, let's see what we got. All right guys, so me and AJ just got done flea market shopping and uh, yeah, it didn't go the best. Um, it was fun. Uh, AJ and I both kind of got some random little scores here and there, but uh, we didn't really get anything ideal. AJ didn't get any masks and I didn't really find any Lego, but we did find a flea market that is ginormous that we're going to be going to pretty soon probably a little bit closer to a uh, halloween and whatnot so that'll definitely be a good like little redemption flea market shopping trip but uh right now i'm just going into walmart to grab a couple of groceries of course i'm gonna see if maybe they got some of the new sets in there even though i was just at the lego store today i still gotta take a look all right, we didn't find anything in Walmart at all. Look at my hair right now. This is ridiculous. But uh, we didn't find anything in Walmart right now. So uh, I guess we're gonna check out Kohl's. Uh, to be honest, I really could have got the other new sets at the Lego store today, but I didn't want to overspend and like get the gunship plus like more stuff and then spend like 400, 450 and then only get one promo. So my whole method behind that was pretty much to where I wanted to make a separate purchase so I can get another promo. But by the time I walked out of the Lego store, there was still a massive, massive line. I had to get back to town to meet up with AJ. So I figured I would just make the rest of my order online, unless maybe they have something here in Kohl's, but they probably don't. I'm honestly walked all the way in here to probably just waste my own time. Hold the phone. I'm not wasting my own time. We've got a few new sets. Let's go. Nice Mandalorian shuttle or Starfighter. We've got the Black Panther set. Very, very nice. What else do we got here? Some of the new Disney stuff. So that's very cool. I might. Oh, and I got the uh, new Boba Fett's Starship. I might pick this up. Like this? Hmm. Hmm. This is another one of the What If Marvel series sets. Hmm. Hmm. All right. We did actually find a few more clearance deals. Are these all snow speeders? Oh my goodness. Okay. Those are all snow speeders. And look at all the Sith Trooper battle packs. My goodness. Well, 
It might be nice to grab that just to invest. I was kind of hoping they were more than 25% off, but uh, we'll see. Okay. All right, guys. Well, oh, it's a heavy bag. All right, guys. So it is actually a day later. Um, I didn't sleep at all the night before I got the gunship. And it's kind of funny because I did that whole skit where I was asleep and then I woke up and well, obviously that wasn't real, but I really didn't sleep. And after getting the gun shipped and I went flea market shopping with AJ. Smells like a Halloween mask would be here. It smells like it, but they're not selling anything in this particular building. One hole. We leave one weird building and walk right into another one. No way. <laughs> what the f- And then I came back home, hung out with Jennifer for a little bit, and passed right out. So that makes you think, is pulling an all-nighter really that productive if you just sleep off the next day? I don't know. But to be honest, pulling an all-nighter really wasn't because I thought I was being productive. It was really just because I was so excited that I just couldn't sleep. So with that being said, you guys probably know what is in this giant box. So I guess we will first get the elephant out of the room here. Okay. And put this beautiful piece up here on the table, if it even all fits in the screen. Okay, looks like it does. But uh, yeah, guys, I am super, super excited to get this, even though you know small small gripe just a just a tiny one but it's like you know i, I was waiting there from 6 30 and you're gonna give me a bento box like that nah, i'm i really don't care i really don't care well obviously you care because you're pointing it out i mean like i i care a teeny weeny weeny weensy bit just because i'm i'm probably not gonna throw this box away i mean it's a nice box but i got this one really it's it's not a big deal not a big deal to be honest, I think the the bigger boxes like this are just harder to keep in good shape because they're just they're just so big, so smaller imperfections just show up more. But all in all, I mean, I'm gonna build this set, so I don't really care about the box that much. Either way, this is a massive set, and it is super super heavy. I'm just gonna just gonna set that right there for the rest of the video here. All right, guys. So the only other thing we left with from the Lego store was the promo. I really wanted more than one of these, so I actually ended up making a separate Lego online order with my VIP points because, well, I already spent 350 on that, plus I paid rent on the same day, and so uh, didn't really want to exactly spend $1,000 in one day, but, uh, you know, it's not ideal. Well, I guess it's, you know, really easy to do if you're a successful Lego YouTuber. You know, I'm just out here buying my lonely gunship and... There's just other Lego YouTubers out here putting $5,000 haul in their title. It's just so hard, man. There's so many sets came out today, dude. I just can't keep up. And honestly, the only thing that can get me closer to that level is if you guys subscribe and smack that like button. All right, guys, so anyways, after Operation Gunship was completed, we did go flea market shopping with AJ, so I'll go ahead and show you the small things I got from there. Obviously, I'm gonna break that stuff. <laughs> Obviously, I was looking for Lego and found some just kind of random, grimy, dirty, loose bionicle pieces in a bag, and I did find some, like, already built not even in a plastic bag, probably not even complete, like little city cars. But if you are a regular viewer on this channel, you know I like my mugs. So we got ourselves an old school, semi-old school, this is probably from like the early 2000s, but a nice Spider-Man mug. To be honest, ah, see, I didn't even know that date was there. But uh, yeah, 2004, so yeah, early 2000s, you know, I was right. I was thinking maybe 2003-ish, so it's pretty close. Regardless, I love this mug. I always loved the way like the early 2000s kind of comic book video game Spider-Man looked. So very, very cool. 
And then the only other thing I got, this one, I don't know how old this is, to be honest. Um, it does have a 100 years of Disney at the bottom, so I don't know how old Disney is. Someone wants to let me know down in the comments how old this thing is, just uh, let me know. But it is, uh, wow, it's now that I'm looking at it up to a bunch of light, it's pretty dirty. <laughs> but honestly, this glass is super, super cool, especially that Buzz Lightyear on that side right there. It really just kind of gives me a nostalgic vibe. I mean, I don't think I had this actual glass, but I definitely remember when kind of a lot of the Disney art on like t-shirts and stuff looked like this. So, oh my God, you know what I'm just now realizing? There's McDonald's golden arches on the bottom. Huh. So that means this was like a thing being sold through McDonald's. Huh. Well, that's cool. I don't know if that makes this any better or worse, but pretty cool nonetheless. I didn't even realize that till literally just now. Huh. All right, well, these were my only two flea market scores. As AJ mentioned, and I think I mentioned earlier in this video, we are planning on going to a better flea market or maybe even more than one. So definitely in the next couple weeks, be on the lookout on his channel and my channel for some flea market content. Hopefully in that next episode, AJ will find what he's looking for and I will find what I'm looking for. But nonetheless, it's always a good time to hang out with my good pal, AJ. Anyways, I did get one more thing. Put it back in this Walmart bag, even though I got it at Kohl's. And uh, I only got this one set. And I only got this one set because, of course, my luck. I go to Kohl's, and they're not doing Kohl's cash, so that doesn't really motivate me to, like, spend at least 50 bucks to get any Kohl's cash. So I just picked up the Duel on Mandalore. I really wanted to pick up at least one other set from the new wave, and like I said, I did make a VIP points order, so I do have a couple more sets coming in. But it's just like, why would I spend... 50 or $100 to try to get Kohl's cash back when they don't always do it. Do it. So weird too, because I love Kohl's and I feel like 70% of the time I go there, they are doing it. I just don't know why they just don't do it sometimes. They have Kohl's cash most of the time, but they just, they don't do it all the time. I don't know. Maybe it's just so good of a deal that they just really can't afford to just do it 24 7 365 do it but it kind of sucks for them because i only spent 20 dollars in there today and if they were doing kohl's cash i would have at least spent 50 but it's not my business i don't own kohl's so what are you gonna do anyways guys that is going to do it for this vlog thank you all so much for watching like i said earlier definitely expect some more flea market stuff in the near future don't get me wrong i love going to the lego store but i really really can't wait until we find some really awesome vendor at a flea market that's got some random oddball old lego sets to sell and i'm hoping for the same luck for aj too man i really want him to find just a vendor at a flea market that just has a ton of different masks we can just kind of look through and Maybe he'll get lucky and get a super sick score. Anyways, guys, I hope you all got your hands on a gunship or at least are going to get your hands on a gunship soon. I am definitely going to build this big giant thing in a live stream super soon. So definitely be on the lookout for a gunship build live stream. Maybe I'll do it all in one stream. But to be honest, that's going to be a big one. That'll hands down be the biggest stream I've done. I mean, I know I streamed the blacksmith, but uh this is a lot bigger than that. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. You all are amazing. As always, this has been Brent's Bricks. And remember, never stop building.